going on everybody it's portal back with another madden ultimate team video guys and today i'm gonna be going over all 264 core elite power up players assorted by division and team shout out to accidental juke at accidental underscore juke on twitter for going through the time and all the efforts to put these guys into the list so this was leaked by mutt leaks and then juke obviously went ahead and actually sorted them so big shout out to him go give him a follow on twitter now here's the thing this is the list of power-ups which essentially also means the list of base leads so pretty much you're going to see all 264 base leads in madden 20 uh 22 as well as power-ups and everything else in here so they can be sorted by division so obviously there's the afc north we're gonna go through all these guys and all the campaign players uh you know the 32 campaign players per team or whatever those are also going to be in here so stay tuned to the end i don't know how long this video can go it could take a little bit because we have to go through just about everything for today's poodle squad shout out we do have peso underscore fresh shout out to you man for being a part of the poodle squad thank you for always showing support and of course if you guys need to the channel hit that subscribe button let's try to get to 23k as quickly as possible we gained a few subs yesterday as well things are looking up man does drop august 12th we're only four days away from the ea access launch which is super exciting so give this video a big thumbs up guys each thumb up thumbs up does help a lot each and every like helps the video out so that's about it let's head on into this so starting with the afc north the Bengals. i don't know if i'll read all of them guys this could take a while but just take a look so we joe mixon whitworth zeitler lawson reader hilton jackson bates and bell so that's going to be the Bengals for the browns we have mayfield monster hunt chubb janovich landry beckham betonio mac teller zeitler conklin agba garrett Clowney, davis ward poyer johnson now like i said i'm just, I'm just gonna start putting these up here you guys can take a look now for the ravens of course Lamar's going to be a good one, of course, as per as per usual. Darren Waller does get a Ravens-esque power-up, which is pretty cool, because if you remember, these power-ups are able to go ahead and uh, have team cams. I don't know why they put Waller under the Ravens, but he will be eligible to be used as a Ravens team team guy. So this is going to also show you guys kind of the theme teams that you can put ahead day one of the game. So that's also a useful list for this as well. Here we got the Steelers. Take a look here. We got the Bills. Uh, the Ravens have the most so far. I mean, the Bills have a few as well. Dolphins have a pretty good amount as well. Now, again, like I said, it's kind of weird how they did it where you can kind of see players that have been there, I suppose, like Minka, but I guess I see where they're going with that. Um, see, the Jets don't have too many. Quinn and Williams is probably about the best one. Robbie Anderson, Jamal Adams, yeah, that's pretty good as well. The Patriots have a few, as you guys can see right here. Uh, Gronk, Brady. So, yeah, this gives you a good idea of what the best team teams are day one. I mean, clearly the Ravens are going to be one we'll with the Bears here. Next, we have the Lions. A lot of base leads though a lot of uh, a lot of power-ups as well for the most part now clicking on down rogers packers have a pretty good theme team off the rip as well the vikings buccaneers falcons panthers saints again feel free to pause as we go through like i said it'll be a lot easier for you guys if you just go ahead click and pause and go through and check them all out like i said i could read them all off but they'll probably take years and probably bore the hell out of you guys you just better off going if you guys want a theme team like i said just go to the team that you like and check them out this again if you're looking into theme teams scroll through this video like so far ravens have the most we have saints right here next we have the cowboys cowboys don't have as many as i thought actually I thought they'd have more uh, zeke cooper a few good ones here the eagles have devonta smith already which is pretty early for a rookie they typically don't get power-ups like that but he is the rookie champion which does help saquon barkley um for the giants odell all right these, these giants have two good ones probably there out of all of them here we have the Washington football team. Some good ones there. Terry McLaurin for sure. 49ers have a pretty decent one right here. Some guy was asking me the best theme teams to make. And like I said, based on this, the Ravens for a running theme team. Probably going to be your best bet right now. We have the Cardinals. Murray, probably the best one there. Buda Baker. We have the Rams. Rams have a few. Rams aren't that bad, actually. Because they do have Donald and uh, Ramsey, of course, which always helps. Seahawks, we got DK, Russ, Jadavion Clowney, Shaquille Griffin, which will be pretty good as well. Jamal Adams once again. Next, we have the Broncos. Some decent ones there. Uh, the Chargers. Got the Chiefs. Of course, the Chiefs are some of the best ones as well, guys. Also, if you take a look at this, you can see uh, based on like Team Fantasy Pack, which ones are the best to take based on the best big name uh, base leads. Here you got Mahomes, Tyreek Hill, Travis Kelsey, uh, Chris Jones, Tyra Matthew, Kendall Fuller. Pretty good one. We have the Raiders. Next, we do have the Colts, Jonathan Taylor, Quentin Nelson. Probably the most useful of the bunch there. I did not think Braden Smith would get a base lead, so that's pretty interesting. Um, the Jags. Trevor Lawrence obviously doesn't have one because all he has is his rookie premier card. Leonard Fournette, uh, James Robinson, Allen Ross. So James Robinson is a basically now, so that's interesting as well because, again, he did have a really good year, but you know how Madden is. Uh, the Texans are Watson, Hopkins, Cooks. All three of those guys may not even be there. That's credit cool. I know for a fact. A few. Clowney. Wow, that team got that team got, what? That team got stripped. That's crazy. Titans. Some pretty good ones here as well. I mean, wide rec like receiving core. Like, you could build a pretty nice, uh, like, 
one, two, three, four punch right off there on offense with Tannehill, Derek Brown, and Julio. Now we have the campaign players. So those were the power up base lead uh, players. So those are a lot. Like I said, there was a ton of players there. 264 to be exact. Now these might have been more on this list because again, they're being doubled up for teams. So here are the campaign league players. Now the campaign players are exciting for one, one of two reasons, technically. Yes, they are just core elite players that you can generically buy in the game. But as a way to get these, you are able to go ahead and get a 75 overall version of these cards and trade it and exchange things to go ahead and complete their set, which will give you a nat version of the core elite. Now, we don't exactly have a good basis on what the price could be. But let's say, right, for, uh, let's say Lamar, right? Let's say Lamar's 83 overall quarterback goes for 50k because of his speed. But this set only costs you 25k to do. It may be worth saving the 25k and getting him nat. Maybe it's not. But it could be a good value, especially for theme team players, if you know that you're going to keep them or players that you want to keep all year. So let's say like, who would be a good example of someone you plan to keep all year on this list? Let's see. There's a Denzel Ward, I believe, wherever he is. So let's say Denzel Ward, right? All the way up there, second row. Let's say you want to, you know, Denzel Ward's a really fast corner. He could be going for maybe 50K as well. Let's say that the set only really costs 20K, 15K to do. Go ahead and get Denzel Ward. Be a cheap way to get him up, have him powered up and get everything done pretty easily. Now, let's say he goes for 50K and his this set costs 50K. I personally wouldn't recommend doing it then because what's the point? The other one, you can get your coins back when you're done with them. These you can't. But I think there'll be a price value, of course. So I'm going to go through the list in just a second to show you guys. But overall, I do actually like this concept of campaign players. And they gave us a lot of big names on here, which is cool because if they would have just given us really bad basically cards, people probably would have overlooked campaign. But these are actually good, usable cards. So let's get to the list here. Travis Kelsey. Again, he's a big name, although I don't think he'll actually be a usable tight end. Lane Johnson's a usable tackle for sure, so that's definitely a good one. Lane Johnson's always a tackle everyone wants, so if he gets a good, affordable way of getting him through campaign, that'd be pretty cool. Devontae Parker, Stephon Diggs is a good one, Grady Jarrett, Leonard Williams, Shaq Barrett, Trent Williams is a good one, Devin McCourty, Cameron Jordan, Brandon Cooks is a good one. Brandon Cooks is going to be a really good one as well, probably with speed. Ryan Tannehill, Demarcus Lawrence, Chandler Jones, Bobby Wagner, Dalvin Cook is a decent one, Jonathan Allen, Cooper Cup, Joe Mixon, Roquan's a decent one as well. Minka Fitzpatrick's a pretty good one. Jair Alexander could be a really, really good one. Because if you guys remember, Jair Alexander has an 87 overall or one of the best cornerbacks in the game, speed-wise and everything. So again, if Jair goes for like 150K and you can get this car for like 75K nat, I would do it in a heartbeat. But again, these sets could be kind of expensive if people really hop on that bandwagon, you know what I mean? So it remains to be seen how the pricing will work. Then you could really do your Jair, Denzel Ward here. Darius Leonard's um, going to be decent. Lamar Jackson's going to be decent. DJ Moore should be good as well. Justin Simmons, Josh Jacobs, TJ Hawkinson, Quinn Williams, and James Robinson. Overall, the best one on this list, I think, is probably going to be Jair if the price is right. That, that's that's, that's going to be the biggest thing. But these are the players. So there was another one as well. I believe they did show Derwin James on the stream. So that's going to be the 32nd one that we were missing here on this list. I don't know why that wouldn't just be on there if we knew it already. But overall, it's pretty cool. Definitely going to be pretty uh, pretty cool. But let's get it into the rest of this. Now, I actually personally do like the campaign. Now, again, there will be uh, separate souls and stuff. But we have to see exactly how much and how easy or how long it takes to do all these things. Once we know all those things, it'll be a lot easier to kind of assess. I'll probably rank the best camp player, campaign players to do during the, I'd imagine the first week of EA Access once I have a good idea. But that pretty much wraps up the video, guys. So we have the campaign players here, of course. We have all these players. There was, was a lot today. A lot of good stuff in this video. Hopefully you guys did stay tuned to the end and watched everything. If you did, make sure to smash that like button if you guys made it this far. Give you guys a second to go do so. Helps out a lot, so make sure you're doing that. Subscribe, turn that noti bell. But real quick at the end, which I forget to mention sometime, guys, if you guys need any help with anything Madden 22 related, Xbox questions, DM me over on Twitter. Very simple to do, guys. Down below in the description, you will see my Twitter link. Click on that link. You'll get followed over to my account. Drop a follow so you can. My DMs are always open. You guys can ask me Madden questions, best pre-orders to get, which fantasy pack should I take, anything. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. It's a great place to be more uh, personal in terms of like you guys have like because comments comments are good for quick questions. Sometimes Twitter could be helpful as well. But yeah, use the comments as well. I'll get back to all that. So if you guys have any questions, just make sure you guys are taking advantage of that. I will get back to you as well. And of course, smash the like button. But yeah, so make sure you go take advantage of that. Like I said, the link should be down below in the description. If it is not, let me know. But I'm almost positive it's been there for like two years now. But yeah, that's about it for that, guys. Let's get back to the rest of the video and come join the family. Thank you guys for watching. I'll probably post a second video today. So stay tuned for that. I'm out. Peace.